Hi, I'm Sharon Jordan Evans. I'm a BK author, executive coach, and keynote presenter. My two BK books are Love Em or Lose Em, Getting Good People to Stay, and Love It, Don't Leave It, 26 Ways to Get What You Want at Work. Uh, this year, I'm working on the BK Retreat Committee, and my esteemed colleagues there asked me to say a few words to you about the retreats. I've gone to nine of them. So I think they really want me to convince you to come. Now, as I was preparing for this and thinking about it, I did what many of you would do. I conducted a survey. Why not? Whenever you're in doubt about what to say, conduct a survey, get some responses. So follow me. I'll show you how we conducted the survey and what the results were. So first of all, the research. The N, as you can see, was five. Now, some of you might say, gee, that seems like a rather small sample. Um, but I was kind of under the gun, so stay with me. The survey question was this, what brings you back to the retreat? The demographics I'm really proud of because the demographics uh, you'll see, you'll hear, represent the Barrett Kohler population in general. So we have uh, BK um, Life, we have BK Business, and we have BK Currents Authors. We have both genders, both coasts, a wide range of ages from puppies to grandparents. And then of course you have to think about analysis. And I considered running a two-tailed t-test and then I thought maybe that's overkill even though it's excellent. So instead what I decided to show you is the raw data. So here we go. Here are the responses to that question. What brings you back to yet another BK retreat? And one of the responses was the talent show. Like who would not want to see Noah play his ukulele? Another one was, I got ideas for my new book. Another one, I got new friends who helped me manage the life of an author. Another one, creative energy, exposure to new stuff, fun, mind-expanding time, stimulating conversation, the push-up contest, amazing settings and fantastic food, so very much period fun. This is verbatim, as you can tell. Sharing common values, the wine, and high-quality people. Now some of you look at that list and you say, count me in, that is me, I love everything you've listed there. Others of you though might say, hey some of that's great and some of those items here really don't ring my chimes. So I thought it would be useful if I considered or we considered together a few workarounds just in case some of this isn't really up your alley. So for example, let's say you don't want to see Noah play the ukulele. You could skip the Saturday Night Talent Show, that's one option, or better yet, you could take a well-placed, unobtrusive break, just as you see Noah approach the stage. Let's say you don't want new ideas and you have plenty of friends. You could always take a walk in the woods. We have woods at every single retreat. Let's say you aren't into creative energy or exposure to new stuff or to expand your mind. You could do what I've done several times and that's just go take a nap. It works. And let's say that you're really not into fun. Not everybody is. Here's what you could do. You could find a buddy at the retreat who's like you in that respect, who really doesn't enjoy fun. And the two of you could go off together and have a very serious, very, very serious conversation. And speaking of conversation, let's say that you're not into stimulating conversations at all. Well, you could take a break and you could pull out that People magazine that you've stuffed in your backpack. The push-up contest, what if you're worried about that? I'd say, don't worry, join your local gym. You have plenty of time to get prepared, to get ready for the retreat. Let's say you don't like amazing settings and fantastic food where you could pack a lunch and stay in your room. Here we're back to that fun thing and you remember the workaround for that, right? Let's say you don't like sharing common values. You could just keep mum about your values. Nobody's gonna pry. Let's say you just don't enjoy wine. Uh, that's okay, there are several BK authors there who will carry that load. And let's say that high quality people frankly irritate you. Now that's problematic because it's hard to avoid high quality people at the BK retreat. So I'm hoping this helps. Thank you for tuning in and I hope we see you at the next retreat. And thanks to my cameraman, Mike Evans.